And I guess uh, maybe in his mind, or maybe God showed it to him, uh, it has changed. And it will change. It will continue to change. Because 95% of this community speaks Spanish. And I'm glad that we have pastors that can speak Spanish, not only within this congregation, but in the six other congregations. So they've done it. God has done a tremendous job of bringing people here that can relate to the people within this area. And that and have a heart for the people in this area. And that was the thing that really struck me when I first came to this church. And, and I know we have a lot of people that uh, have, have different things that, I, that they need, but one of the things that really hurt, I'm glad you said it hurt me, but sort of touched my heart was we had, a, we had a festival one day, and it was only for the church members. We had a train and rides. And, and then outside of the gate, you could see kids, uh, kids lining up outside wanting to come inside, but you know, we only, we only had it for the church. So I'm glad that we reached out to the community. I want the community to feel part of this church. And with the six other Hispanic congregations here, I think we are making an impact on the, on the community here. So we're going to have the church council come up and we pray for them. Now we're going to, we were going to give a monetary gift, but then I guess we're going to just do it like Pastor Hector wanted. The, the <laughs> currency of appreciation and a sister Durant and a hug. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> So that's the least we can do. And also, most important, a prayer each day for each and every one of them and thanking them for the job that they do for each and every one of us and for God. So, uh, the Sister Penny one, the Sister Penny one, or Sister Davina can pray. Because, you know, when I talk, I get emotional with our pastors. But all these pastors here are very, so gracious to me. With Pastor Hector, when you, walk with, when you work with Pastor Hector, there's ups and downs. And you don't, we have an agenda and that's how it got changed. But I believe it's God's talking to him that it needs to be changed. But I'm so thankful with Pastor Hector. People doesn't see it just like what Sister Joanna said. He has a big heart. Amen. You know what? When you when you work with him, you can feel the the compassion. You don't just see it with your own eyes because sometimes with things that you heard, you get blinded. But when you ask God to open your eyes and let him see what these people are doing. God will reveal to you what's in their heart. And I'm so thankful for Pastor Hector, for, and I support him, and I bless him Amen. because of his love to the people. That's why I ask you guys, most sometimes, most of the people that I heard it from saying, he should be an example. He should humble himself. But are we humble in the presence of God? Do we see, do we do what God wants us to do? Just like in one other, uh, in, the, in the Filipinos say, uh, before you look at each other, look at yourself first. Let's humble and pray. They need our prayers. Amen. As sometimes, just like what Brother Ben was talking earlier, I ask God to forgive me because sometimes I don't even talk their heads, you know, you're doing good. I always forget that when I saw pastor, he said, we love you, we, we love you what you're doing, you have a vision, and we want support you, we want to be obedient. Sometimes people doesn't want to be submitted to the, the elders, to the pastor, but that's what we need. We need to go and be a one per one vision and support our pastor. And I thank God for most of the people are here supporting. We need people like you guys. We not, cannot be just oh, a hearer of the word. We need to be a doer of the word of God. Amen. And there's a lot of people here in our community. That's why God sent us here for a purpose. Purpose to help our pastors here. And I thank God. This not much, but I know pastor doesn't want to get all this stuff. But uh, I saw this prayer for our pastor. It said, Dear Lord, 
bless our pastor yes, to deliver and preach your holy word yes. to serve your divine call Amen. and to minister to your flock. Yes. Guide him to do your perfect will and lead him to walk in your wisdom as he leads your church. Yes. Thank you for the privilege he has in sharing the gospel of Christ with others. Bless his time yes. and his effort as he served you. Amen. On behalf of the Council Pastor, I want to give you this. Pastor Carla, as I mentioned before, I always see Pastor Carlos when I was still a member of the Angel Temple walking in the back of the of the parking where the pastors and the um, staff was. And I was always amazed on him. He's walking and you know what? I was so happy when I see him here. So, and I feel God is in him and he works in us. And when you listen to him in a Bible study, you can see that God's presence in his life. Oh Lord, I wish at this age that I can still do what he's doing. Amen. He has the burden for the community in here. And I pray for his help. Because God has still a purpose in his life. Yeah. God is still going to be beautiful. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate it. Thank you, Pastor, for your being here with us. Thank you. This lady has been a blessing to us every single Saturday. And we are so thankful for Sister Maria. He's 79 years old. And you should see him if you come to our convalescent. He's jumping and praying for everybody and singing the name for the Lord. And I thank him. And I thank her for her dedication. You will be um, energized whenever you see this lady. Jumping, I said, oh, where did he get that, where did she get that energy? And playing and dancing for the Lord. And I thank her for her compassion. For her compassion for all those people at the convulsion. You should see them. When they come, when we come, they were so excited and happy. And when we prayed, they were crying. And I believe that we are a comfort to them. And I thank God for God impressed this ministry to our Pastor Maria. And Pastor Maria, thank you very much. And then our couple here, Pastor DeMarol. I thank God for even then, I don't I believe that if you are in Christ, if you let God work with you, there's no retirement. Amen. God is still using you. I don't believe in retirement. Because I, I can see in this couple that they're still doing the work of God. Amen. They're still there doing, preaching the word. Right? And then when they preach, something is stuck in your mind because of their examples. Amen. And they are a blessing to us for being here with us, supporting us, and like a pillar to us here, boosting up, boosting up, especially for our pastor. They're here to encourage pastors. And I will thank you, Father Sister Sandy, that he is working us. I thank you, Father Bonnie, because he's always here, helping us with all the works of the Lord in here. And I thank him for his life, for his dedication to us. And I can continue to pray for him. Thank you. And may all be encouraged for all these pastors that are here. And thank you. So, uh, let's lay hands on our pastor and may I ask the congregation to stand up and extend your hands towards them for our prayers. Father in heaven, we just want to thank you for each and every one of our pastors, for appointing them to this church, for being our leaders, Lord. We pray for all the congregation to submit themselves to our pastors and to respect them with all their hearts, dear Lord. Thank you for blessing them, for giving them these ministries, Lord. 
continue to enrich them, continue to give them the wisdom and the understanding that surpasses the understanding of men. Because your plans are not our plans. Your thoughts are not our thoughts. Your surpasses every individual's thoughts, dear Lord. We thank you that you are here to provide protection to them and their families, to bless each one of them, Lord, to give them long lives, Lord. Amen. Long, healthy lives, dear Father. Thank you, dear Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.